So this one here, I have the region in question that was posted with the question. And I kind of added to it. Uh, we have the green line. So the region R is bordered by Y equals to zero and X equals to zero, which is the green line. And the red line. Now, the red line is kind of the decisive factor here because we can read write the red line as either y equals minus x plus 5, which is the standard notation, or we can rewrite it as x equals to minus 5, y plus 5. And also added the purple borderline, y equals to 5, and the purple vertical borderline, x equals 5. And so that's all we need. So the double integral can be written either as uh, with the inner integral as limits of x1 and x2 and the outer one with respect to dy with limits of y1 and y2. And now the variable y is chosen so that the limits of integral y1 and y2 for the outer double integrals are constants. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and the limits of integral of the inner double integrals are functions of x. So x1 is equals g1 of y and x2 is equals to g, g2 of y. In this case, we would just describe the region R as a collection of x, y, such that y is greater than 0 and 5, and x is between 0 and minus the red line, which is minus y plus 5. So these now are the limits that we plug into our in integral, double integral. So that is y is equals to 0 and less than 5. And then x is going to be 0. And x2, the outer limit, is minus y plus 5. Or alternatively, we can rewrite this, the same double integral, where first the inner one is integration with respect to dy, where y1 and y2, well, let's actually start with the outer one, is the inter integral with respect to dx of x1 and x2. So x is the variable x is chosen, so the limits of integral x1 on x2 are constants, and then the limits of the inner double integral are functions of x. So y1 is equal to some function of x, and y2 is some function of x2. I should just, for consistency, color them correctly. Oh. <clears throat> and what I have to do is re-describe the region R as a collection of x, y, same, where now the leading variable, which is the chosen one, is the x, which is between 0 and 5, Right. And then y is the has limits which are functions of x, which is y is greater than or equal to zero and less than minus five x minus x plus five. So we just plug those into our limits of integration. <clears throat> zero goes here, five goes here, and then the y is equal to zero here. And then the other one is y is equal to minus x plus 5. And that's all straightforward. I don't know what this w is here. For. So we'll clear that out. So that's it. I uh, hope that was short and got to the point. And Happy New Year's.